So what we need to do now, I think, is a bit of a zero to 60 when we get I out of here. I think so, yeah. How's that? What? No! No way! <laughs> Not 60 test. Go. Three, two, one. And welcome to Petroped, and welcome Mr. Steph ABTV. Thank you for having me, sir. Welcome, welcome and hello, everybody. And thank you for BMW inviting us to Oxfordshire today. Absolutely, yes. To drive the new 7 Series. The new 7 Series. Mm. So, we are on a press route, plugged into the sat nav, and we are in the new 750L. X Drive. X drive. Mm, got to get that in there. Yes. Extra grip. Very nice. Yeah. Um, so uh, I'll give you engine spec. Yeah. So 4.4 litre V8, 530 horsepower, zero to six in around 4.4 second. I we believe. Need and to that's, try uh, that. Yeah, we do. I, but the thing is, BMW are very reserved in their figures, and I found that out when I drove the 8 series. So I think that's probably a shade under. Um, but yeah, heavy car. It's two and a half tons. <laughs> <laughs> it needs all that grunt. But it the does. route they've given us today is just ace and it a heavy car it doesn't feel like it to drive it doesn't it doesn't it's I mean, got some really good manners on the corners yeah i mean with, with that weight and all that power it does kind of it behaves itself well but it also means that for those moments where you want to plant your foot down you're not really in any form of risk of any oversteer or, or wheel spin because it just sticks to the floor with weight and four-wheel drive yeah. but the thing with this though I mean, we're here living the dream front of front front of house. I was going to say yeah. front seat. But it's about bad oh, no. air, isn't it? I know. In fact, if you head on over to Steph's channel, depending on when his video goes live, yeah, we'll make sure that they're both out the same yeah, yeah. time. Yeah, yeah. We've just done a video with me chauffeuring him around in the back to find out all about the back seat of this car. Yeah. Tune into his channel. Absolutely. But I'm doing the driving. You haven't actually driven it yet. I haven't. <laughs> I literally just sat there, my entire video is like, well, I don't need to drive this yeah. car because it's all about the passenger, the passenger experience. And don't get me wrong, it's amazing. But yeah. I don't think we, I guess the car itself is, is brilliant. I mean, I'm just yeah. looking at this cockpit, mate. It's beautiful to look now, at. Now, the interesting thing, because you've done quite a lot of BMW stuff. I, I have not driven that many BMWs. I drove the new 5 Series yeah. uh, about 18 months ago. Liked it very much. But I haven't really driven that many BMWs. And the I must say that the cockpit and the, the layout is really nice. Yeah. I like it a lot. And I think, yes, I mean... The, and, that's, and that's an Audi, Audi owner saying that. There you go, see? There you go. And that, that's, that's testament to BMW because... So one of the things I think that BMW used to struggle with quite a lot, uh, they, they, they make fantastic cars, they make great engines, they make great performance cars, they make great luxury cars. Yeah. But I think only recently have they really started to unlock the interior. Yeah. Uh, I think things, uh, for example, seats have not been the greatest with regards to the way they look, whereas in this... I oh, mean, look at this. And they've it's got the massage incredible. functions and oh, yeah, that's a good lumbar point, support. And there you go, stuff. massage yeah, on. Baby. Um, but the cockpit itself, so obviously it's kind of a virtual style cockpit. I think there's no, there's no surprise that Audi are best in the game when it comes to that. But the new style BMW cockpits, it's I think, are really good. Really, good. really, really good. Um, we've got the operating system seven on this, so it's the new kind of version, which has all the yeah. gesture controls and all that fun stuff. Makes it like you're in a, in a nightclub when you're doing that. Yeah. But yeah, no, it's fantastic. Lovely. Still don't integrate the screen into the dash, though. What is it with yeah. this sticky up screen thing? Ooh, oh, I'll just adjust the controller. Yeah, yeah it's, a good, it's a good point. It is a good point. I don't know. Um, I'm, not, I'm not so sure. I quite like it, personally. Yeah. And it says I like the fact it's so wide, but... It's, it's a really good screen, mm. is it? No. Uh, so let's uh, cut to some outside shots, because this car, the spec of this car, it's properly murdered out. It's kind of black everything, black wheels, beautiful thing.
So what we need to do now, I think, is a bit of a zero to 60 when we get I out of here. I think so, yeah. How's that? What? No! No way! <laughs> Fragrance setting, a waft of pure water pearls, no. or... What's the other one? What's that? Blue sweet number one. Oh, Go on, well, this sounds like some kind of mystery of fiery aromas. <laughs> Go on, give it a spray. How do you do it? I don't know. I think it's just doing it. I was wondering. I was wondering why. I thought. I thought it was Let you. <laughs> I, thought, I thought you were smelling very rosy oh, and well, nice. And but no, it's just it's the mystery of fiery aromas. No way. I haven't I've seen, that never seen that. I've not car. seen that in a car. That's amazing. I mean, you normally get some horrible, you know, one of those little pine trees. Yeah, that's it. That's the one from, from the local car wash. Yeah. <laughs> that no is, that's, that's impressive. That's that is first. really impressive. Uh, is that a first? Has anybody <laughs> anybody seen that in a car before? Yeah. I haven't. No, nor have I. <laughs> and, and the thing is, I think it's, it, I know we're, we're looking for some uh, 060 location, but it's probably a good point to know is that the 7 Series is, is quite often looked at as a platform for BMW to kind of try out all their new tech and yeah. stuff. Because it is like the top of the range. Like Mercedes when, a, uh, S yeah, Class and stuff like that. That's it, that's it. So, mate, you know, coming to an M3 near you. <laughs> <laughs> Waft of golden Waft pearls. pearls. Yeah. Oh, no, oh. maybe that, no, no. But yeah. pearl. <laughs> golden <laughs> Whatever it is, it's cool. We just yes. missed the sign that says national speed limit. We are in a national speed limit, yes. We've found some national speed limit road. That's what it's about, sir. It'll be rude not to. <laughs> it would indeed. Let's find a nice straight bit. Oh, yes. And then, uh, test, look, at test, these, test, look at these bends here. Yeah. <laughs> the roads around Soho Farmhouse are absolutely Mega. They are brilliant. They are really. I mean, the scenery as well. Look the at views that. out there, are just superb. Oh, stunning, stunning. I mean, a lot of oh. a lot of times, you know, you think you've got to leave the UK to find such beautiful locations, but actually, the UK on sunny days has got so much. And how is this turning like that? <gasps> how? How? <laughs> how? Two and a half tons. I know. No worries, mate. I did. I did go in a bit hot there, but yeah, no, yeah. no worries at all. Yeah. What a road. Oh. This is glorious. <laughs> like this. Wow. Well, the, the, the Nord 60 test is going to have to wait a moment <laughs> because I'm enjoying driving. Mate, this is composed, isn't it? It's it is very superb. composed. It's superb. It's very composed. Whilst well, giving you the feel of luxury at the same time. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm, I feel I'm phased in here. Yeah. Well, even with me driving. Well, I was going to say, probably because <laughs> yeah. I've gone through the living life <laughs> fast experience. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, it's true. You've had Ricky drive you and you've seen me driving yeah, at yeah. Um, Farmer's Port recently. That's it. That's it. <laughs> oh, mate. What a beautiful road, though. Mm. Oh. Well, that panel shifts and stuff, you, have you tried those out? I've done out? a bit, to yeah. be honest. The gearbox, it's just in normal auto, it's one of those cars you don't feel like you need to go to the paddles. Yeah, no, it is, it's um, great. It's in sport, so it's kind of just hanging the gears a little bit longer and downshifting for you when yeah. you break into corners, but it, oh, it's beautiful. Do you know what? There's a really cool feature on Operating 7. The, the sat-nav works in conjunction with your speed and what it sees in front of it so if for example it sees you herring around corners and like coming up to a chicane yeah it will know to drop the gears into second oh, it's, that's, it's, it's looking it's, ahead well no surprise that's what um, Rolls Royce have got the yeah. same, the same yeah. system so there you go just a fun fact yeah very good yeah. does it do the does it prepare the suspension as well because I know not the, sure. the Rolls Royce system scans the road yeah. for imperfections I'm not sure the but McLaren have got that on their new GT it's really yeah. That was that like a nice car. It was a very, you it was a very swanning nice around, car. around the yes. McLaren. McLaren, yeah. yeah. Come on, we need a Nord 60 test. Come on. Yeah, I think we do it. Yeah, we do it. Yeah. We do it. So I think left, left foot on the brake. Try and see if it goes into launch. Nord 60 test. Go. Three, two, one. <laughs> what? 60. That is a kick and a half, isn't it? <laughs> Wow, that bites hard. Yes! Wow, that's impressive. Oh, look at this road! I know, it's crazy, oh. isn't it? Look at that. Yeah, that's oh, got dear. some punch to it, doesn't it? Yeah. Now, do you want to drive me? Yeah, go on. Yeah, I Because you haven't had a go no, yet. No, I haven't had a go. I, let's let's pull over, I want to get in the back. Yeah, you do, you need to have a look. <laughs> I, need to be, I need to be in the back, people. Yeah, you do. <laughs> I agree. Let's do that. Let's find a place to switch over and I'll, I'll show you around. Oh, yeah, yeah, so you can take me back to Sofa, Sofa Farmers, because I feel it. a little bit of lunch coming on. I do as well. Oh, it's time. Yes. Lunch late. time. We're actually late. Yeah. Oh, let's have some luxury then. 
<laughs> I say, uh, Steph, take me back to Soho Farmhouse, would you, my man? Is there a spot of lunch for you, sir? Yes. No problem. Uh, and enjoy these roads, because they're epic. Oh, this, uh, this vehicle seems rather... So how much is it? Um, it is uh, 85,000. <laughs> Yeah, okay, uh, yeah, you can uh, so slow down I'm, now. <laughs> so I'm, I'm aiming for a one-star Uber rating now. Yeah. So uh, if you decide yeah. to rate me based on how quickly I get you to the destination, then I should get a six stars. Yeah. Oh no, I've got Ricky from Living Life Fast driving the car. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. enjoy the back. It's lovely. Yeah, man. it's good to be driven. It goes, doesn't it? It's, it's ridiculous. He's in full manual gearbox. Oh yes. Call me the, the speedy <laughs> chauffeur. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So yeah, this car then, uh, oh, it's a beautiful uh, spec. It does have quite a few options on it, however. Oh no, oh no, no, hold on. That was the base price, 85 and a half. <laughs> oh, right, okay. No, this really doesn't have that many options on this specific car. Uh, no. You're missing a whole lot of TV screens what do you back. You're missing a fridge, you're missing a tablet. Okay, even, even everything. without all of those options, what do you mean? What price? By the way, that Bowers and Wilkins sound system that you were mentioning, five thousand pounds. You option. are kidding? No. Nope. Well, I guess if you buy one of these, you got the cash. Yeah. But I'm going to go with a price of uh, eighty-three thousand. <laughs> no, no, no. A uh, hundred and eight. A hundred and eight grand! That is absolutely... Wow! Notice, noticeable um, options on here. Uh, technology package. Oh yeah boy! Uh, that's three and a half grand. Driver assistance, professional remote control parking, head up display. Premium package, that's two and a half grand. Nice. Uh, climate comfort laminated glass seat vibration front. Uh, a massage function. I see a massage is costing you two and a half grand. That's a good point. I need to put uh, mine on. M Sport Plus package, which is the sports exhaust sport braking system. Yeah. Uh, that's two grand. Executive Drive Pro, yeah. two and a half grand. Wow. Wow, there's some, there's some options on here. But yeah, the speed, that's that Bowers and Wilkins diamond surround sound system, five grand. So it's definitely an upgrade then. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Do you notice though, in, in some some option stereos in cars these days are, I drove the Bentley Continental GT last week yeah. and the option stereo in that, a Nairn stereo, was six and a half grand. That's mad. It's monopoly money, isn't it? Yeah. It's crazy. Even, I mean, even a basic stereo in a car is normally pretty good. Yeah. But I think, I think it's all... Wowzers. I guess it's all a bit, the, well the reality check I think is, that, yes, the, the, the car, the price, it's all premium, but the, the, the customer and the market this is tailored towards is exactly that though, isn't it? Yeah. It is towards that really high end yeah. you know, CEO. I think there's an element as well. YouTuber. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm, th this is the way I'm going to live now. Yeah, I'll there, mate. drive myself to a press event. Anyway. Yeah. Um, no, I think if, if you spec one, there's maybe from a resale, resale point of view, you'd want all the options on it yeah. to make it as attractive as possible. Yeah. But beautiful, yeah. loads of legroom in the back here. Yeah, I was going to say, comfy back there? It's very nice, yeah, very nice. Well, I'm going to draw that video to a close because we're not far off of Soho, Soho Farmhouse. So yeah. anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed that. A little bit different. Huge thanks to my uh, colleague Steph from Steph ABTV. Make sure you head over to his channel. Uh, he does all the kind of same kind of things as me, but he is Mr. A Bath and Fiat and Alfa Romeo Alpha, Alpha because now, you have yeah. a 4 C. I have. And I'm very jealous. We need to get that. As soon as my Mini is um, done, yeah. we're going to have to... Yeah, you've got to have a go in the 4 seat, yeah, 100%, maybe. and I need to try the Mini. Yeah, because it'll, they'll have about the same power. About 270, 280 horsepower. So, <laughs> uh, a lot of difference in weight though. Um, so, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that one. A uh, huge thank you to BMW UK for the invite today. I uh, hope you enjoyed this film. A little bit of fun. It's always difficult on these press trips, press trips to do something a little bit different. But if you have done so, give me a thumbs up. Comments below are always welcome. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to Petrol Bed and Steph ABTV for plenty, for plenty more content to come. And <laughs> yes, <boy. laughs> Yeah, well, by the time we get back to Soho Farmhouse, I'm going to need a caffeine uh, injection, I think. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed that one, guys. See you on the next film. You take it. <laughs> take care. You <laughs> see how you're making me say it right. Man. It works out, man. Drive safe, that's the one. Yeah, drive safe, Steph. I will. <laughs> Always. <laughs>